that out of a dollar, every dollar of your missionary giving, two cents is taken for administration. That is a record that cannot be met anywhere else that I know of. There are all kinds of gimmicks and angles. You'd think God was broke, and I've got to be crooked to get your money. My God can supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory if he has to mint a million-dollar bill to hand to me personally. I don't have to cut corners to, to get the things that God wants done. He's the Lord of the harvest. He knows how he wants his harvest brought in. All you've got to do is keep in touch with him, and he'll keep in touch with you. All right, just a few minutes on the flight habits of the eagle. Last night I said to you, the writer of the Proverbs said, there are four things that are too much for me. I don't understand them. The way of a man with a maid, the way of a serpent on the rock, the way of a ship in the midst of the sea, and the way of an eagle in the air. The way of a man with a maid is the way of Christ and the church. The way of a serpent on the rock is the mystery of the devil and Christ. The way of a ship in the midst of the sea is the mystery of the church surviving in the world. The way of an eagle in the air is the mystery of a Christian without human help and without any visible supports, acting like a god, living like a supernatural creature, doing what no other birds can do. That's a mystery to the world. The way of an eagle in the air. If you're an eagle Christian, you're a mystery. You're a mystery to every other bird because you are built differently. The Bible is so scientifically accurate. You know that? It says that the eagle mounts up. Other birds fly up. The eagle mounts up because the eagle's got cylindrical bones. And the eagle has a built-in airborne capacity. And the eagle has got a master understanding of the air currents. And the eagle gets up on a rock for takeoff. And it waits for the right wind to come. And then it lets out a scream. And it mounts up and catches that air current. And it rides the air current. Just rides them up. Other boats are... <laughs> a lot of Pentecostal boats. <laughs> Your brother, let's get blessed now. Come on, everybody, let's get blessed. <laughs> the eagle Christian says, uh, whoa, just a minute. Oh, here it is. Whee! <laughs> well, you don't have to work at it either. You know, the Bible says that the, that the land of promise was not like the land of Egypt. Down in the land of Egypt, Egypt is 500 miles long and 2 miles wide. And all the farms head into the Nile. And to get the water out into the, into the farms, they used to have to pump it. They had irrigation uh, things that they pumped with their feet. Down in Egypt, if you wanted to get a little bit of water out to your farm, you had to pump it. <laughs> Two hymns and a prayer and a snappy chorus and another hymn and a hope so. <laughs> They said, when you come into the land, it flows with milk and honey. You don't have to work the blessing up. It's in there. It's a river in you. Bring it up into eternal life. He didn't say, out of your innermost being shall jerk. He said, out of your innermost being shall flow. Somebody says, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God, it's there. Hallelujah, glory. So said, can you turn it on? Of course, it's mine. <laughs> Somebody said, well, I, I got to get warmed up before I can do that. Well, what are you cold for? <laughs> Why don't you stay warmed up? Let's say hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. You 
see, it's there for the eagle Christian. He just catches the current and away he goes. He mounts up with wings. Do you know something about an eagle? He loves the storm. When, all the, when a storm's coming, all the birds are running for cover. The eagle said, oh, glory to God, here comes a storm. <laughs> oh, he loves the storm. Man, he's going to get air currents in that storm. He never gets ordinarily. He says, yeah, here comes trouble. Go over it. Isn't that awful? See, the thing with an eagle is that he knows how to adjust both his wings to the wind. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and you hear the sound thereof. You know not from whence it comes or whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. And an eagle adjusts to the wind. He moves with what God is doing. I got all kinds of sermons I couldn't preach today that got nothing to do with what God's doing. I got whole stacks of them at home. They were what God was saying 12 years ago. But the, 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 the new thing, now I've been through several storms, I've learned some new currents over here, God. <laughs> One morning I came out of my home in Vancouver and I heard a strange sound on the pavement at the foot of the stairs. It went like this. And I looked down and it was a bee. And the poor little jigger was going round, round, round. And I thought, what's the matter with that crazy bee? Why didn't he get up and go? He go around so fast I could hardly see him. So I lay down and looked at him, and the poor little guy had one wing torn off. <laughs> That's the truth. That's a true story. So what was he doing? He was using the other one and he was going where? Do <laughs> you ever hear a Christian that only shouts and raises? <laughs> Somebody else would praise a lot. <laughs> you don't really want to be like either of them. You've got to use them both. Let your prayers be with thanksgiving. Rise and soar. Into the sunlight rays, using both your wings of prayer and praise. Mount like eagles higher in the sky, and you'll find things look so different when you fly. When you pray but cannot get your answer through, when you get discouraged, know not what to do, cease to beg and plead, but hallelujahs raise, your petition shall ascend on wings of praise, or rise and soar into the sunlight rays, using both your wings of prayer and praise, mount like eagles higher in the sky, and you'll find things look so different when you fly. Many baffled birds in vain will wave one wing, drooping prayers they pray but rarely shout and sing. Round and round these earthbound birds go in a maze. For they fail to stretch the other wing in praise. Some neglect to pray and only shout around. Like the beaten brass or cymbal so they sound. They too tread a circle and will never share the much larger life on wings of praise and prayer. All rise and soar into the sunlight rays using both your wings of prayer and praise.